everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Asha and today I'm giving you this amazing look. I love it so much. It is all affordable makeup so I'm just super super excited to put this video out there because I haven't done a video like this before. Of course I have used inexpensive things in my videos but I haven't done a full look and I feel like it just looks so good. So if you guys want to see how I got this look then just keep watching. First of all we're going to prime our skin with the Rimmel Stay Matte Primer. I haven't tried this before you guys, but it felt really good in the store. It feels like moisturizer, it feels kind of rich. Yeah, I like it. I actually like the feeling of this. So I'm going to put on Chi Chi Fabulous and Flawless Foundation and I am in shade number nine golden. I used to use this stuff religiously when I was younger. I'm going to use the Expert Face Brush by Real Techniques. That is this guy. Trying to layer it up, but I don't think it's very buildable from memory. I feel like it's just a nice, more soft kind of foundation. So the foundation's looking pretty good. Um, it doesn't cut, it's like a medium coverage, so, but it definitely went matte. Like that primer made it go quite matte, so that's good. Now I'm gonna use um, the LA Girl Pro Concealer, and my shade is medium beige. Okay, so I'm just going to apply that under the eyes and I'm just going to do a little bit on my nose right there because I've got quite a few freckles on my nose and I don't like it. I'm going to bring the product quite far out on my cheekbones. I'm going to do a little bit on my eyelid just to act as an eyeshadow base as well. So I'm going to use the setting brush by Real Techniques. It's quite little and it's very good at just pressing in product and then I just flip the brush over to the clean side and just go over top and make sure there's no excess product. And voila, now I've got really bright under eyes. So now I'm going to use this LA Girl Pro Powder. It's translucent by the way. This stuff is so crazy fine, but it's only got one ingredient, silica, isn't that weird? But I feel... <laughs> okay, don't talk while you do this, puts product on. It literally flies everywhere and goes up your nose. Horrible. But it works. <laughs> I'm going to use this contour brush by Real Techniques. And I'm just going to get directly under my eye. Just to kind of... Because I feel like sometimes a big powder brush doesn't get everything. And I get real creasy underneath my eyes. I feel like putting powder on underneath my eyes makes my eyes look darker. Can you guys see that? Can you see the difference there? So weird. But anyway, I've got banana powder that I'm going to give a try. So we'll put that on later. Oh, this stuff is so messy. You guys. Don't like putting stuff back in my drawer that's like, like that. Oh my gosh, it got all over the lens. You're probably not going to be able to see it, but... Shit, what am I going to do? <sighs> Damn it! I don't think you guys can see it, so I'm just going to ignore it for now. Sorry if there's a little speckle in your screen. I've got some products right here that I want to use. So this is a contour kit and so is this, but this one's got a banana powder and more of a golden bronzy colour. And this has got a really nice, beautiful highlight with a kind of more neutral undertone bronzer and a blusher. So I really like the look of that. So I'm going to use both of them. Uh, we're going to start out with contouring my face. So this is the Wet n Wild Contouring Palette Contour. Is that what that says? Okay. Anyway. So I'm going to use the banana powder first underneath my eyes and I'm going to use that same brush. Oh my gosh, that is so powdery. Tap off that egg. Just shake it off, it comes off so easily. Okay. Ooh. That is a good colour though. Oh my god. Oh, too much. Doesn't look bad. Definitely looks so much better than the other eye. Ooh, man. Oh my gosh. <sighs> There's so much dust in here from all these products. <sighs> but that pretty, looks pretty good. I can taste it. Okay, you guys, I got this brush set from eBay, and I'll link it down below. Um, it's also very affordable. Oh my gosh, can I just show you guys? I just dipped my brush in, and that's what you get. So just by the way, there is a lot of kickback. Should I use this contour brush? Actually, no, I'm going to bronze myself up. So I'm going to use this really, really big brush, which is just going to distribute product real softly around my contours. That bronzer is actually really pretty. Like that made such a difference to my face. So this is the Rimmel Highlight Contour and Blush Set by Kate. Um, it looks really pretty and it's in the shade number three, Golden Bronze. 
It actually has a diagram on the back, which is kind of handy. Come on. Oh, yes. God, that's so stressful. Okay, so I'm going to take the um, contour shade and I'm going to take this brush here. Did I tell you guys that this is from eBay? I can't remember. Anyway, I'm going to use these brushes. They're from eBay. They're linked down below. They are super cheap. They're kind of pretty, but they get really worn out if you actually use them. They're more for aesthetic, but I actually one day got really desperate for brushes because I couldn't be bothered cleaning mine. <laughs> And um, I used one and I was like, wow, this is actually really, really good. And then I thought about cleaning it and like putting it back on display. And then I was like, you know what? These aren't actually that pretty to display. Like the quality of them kind of is shitty. So I started using them on my face <laughs> and they work really well. This is really pretty and this does not have kickback. So I am a fan and that blends really, really well. Yes, come on, look at that. Look at that cheekbone. Mm-hmm. I'm feeling myself, I'm feeling myself. Okay, jawline. Do you guys like my earrings, by the way? Something a bit different? Yeah, I really, really like it. And I like to do down the sides of my nose as well. I can't stop, okay. Stop. No need for this much contour. I'm definitely going to be using that quite a lot. I like it. I like it a lot. Oh, I really like the look of that highlighter, but I've got other highlighters that I kind of want to try as well. The swatch is really pretty. Oh my gosh, what an, what an awkward place to put a swatch hold on. Feels a little bit gritty, like it might come across quite um, gritty and weird. Should I use that color pop blush? I don't know. <gasps> my tea. Oh, it's there. It's gonna be in here. It's gotta be. Here it is. Hooray! Oh! Oh my gosh, you guys have no idea. I have so much shit everywhere. We're gonna use this ColourPop blush in. We're gonna use this ColourPop blush in prenup. And I feel like this stuff works better. It's kind of like a putty. It works better to use your fingers. So I'm just gonna apply it to my apples. I'm not going to put a highlighter on you. I'm going to save that for dramatic effect at the end. <laughs> oh, look at it. It looks so cute. It makes my cheeks look real rosy. Mmm, so pretty. Okay, so I'm going to do my eyebrows next because I'm really, really excited to use this. This is the Mellow Brow Pomade. It's so pretty. Look at the packaging. And this color is in chocolate. So I'm going to use this brush, which I got from AliExpress in a set. I will link it down below. So I like to start with the start beginning of the eyebrow and just like kind of feather this upward and then I like to do the tops and apparently this stuff actually holds your eyebrows in place so all I'm gonna do next is just brush it through I like that look at the difference just looks nice and filled in but still really natural and that's what I'm all about like I just have such intense eyebrows that I used to fill them in quite good like you know quite intense but in all honesty I looked crazy so my skin if you guys can see real good my skin is looking pretty good you guys I'm not lying I do have a few cracks around my nose and on my upper lip so that's definitely a little bit annoying but in all honesty for the price my skin's looking pretty good okie dokie <laughs> So first of all, I'm going to start off with this Jumbo Eye Pencil by NYX, and this colour is in Purple Velvet. Um, I'm going to apply that all over my eyelid. I'm just going to take my finger and blend it. First of all, I'm going to use this um, Sunset Palette by Chi Chi. These are the shades. They're so pretty. So I'm going to go ahead and take the pink one here, and I'm going to put that in my crease. So it's actually got shimmer in it, but um, at this stage, I'm not really too fussed. Might just put this all over my eyelid just to set that jumbo eye pencil. Mm, that looks nice, I like it. So now I'm just gonna take this shade right next to it and put that in my crease. I'm taking a smaller brush now and I'm gonna go ahead and use that color beside that one which is just a little bit darker and we're gonna apply that into the crease. And I'm going to blend that out. This is a clean brush from that set that I used earlier. I'm going to do underneath the eyes, so I'm just going to start with this colour here and apply that underneath my eyes and I'm going to smoke it quite heavily. Then I'm going to go into the shade next to it just there. 
And then with a really flat brush, I'm gonna go into this color right here. So I'm gonna go into the Chi Chi Copper, which is called Hot Stuff. And we're going to put that on my lid. This is um, the Foiled Eyeshadows by Chi Chi. They are beautiful products. But I am going with eyeliner soon, so I do need to kind of bring it a little bit higher because the eyeliner is going to cover it. So now I'm going to go ahead and use this color. It's called Game Face by ColourPop. And I'm just going to apply it straight on top. And that's just going to give this a little bit more of a pop. Just make sure to blend out any edges because obviously there's a few bits of glitter in now. We just want to make sure everything is nice and pretty. Now I'm going to take this Rose Gold by Chi Chi. This is one of the foiled eyeshadows again and the colors in Rose Gold. And I'm going to apply it into my inner corner. So now I'm going to take this Maybelline Eye Studio um, Gel Liner. This is in Black is Black. So I'm going to take this black which is... Um, awesome and I'm, it stays on so well I'm gonna put it up in my tight line now I'm gonna do my waterline oh, I love how black just makes such a difference okay now we're gonna do winged eyeliner or no we're gonna do a wing yes so now we're gonna take this moisture mist waterproof liquid liner and this is in black and I'm just gonna give myself a wing So now we're going to put on some lashes. These are from Love Diana. They are beautiful. I'm really excited. I'm going to put on the bottom pair because I feel like they're nice and lush and thick, but kind of wispy at the ends. Cool. I'm going to um, do this off camera. Okay, so the lashes are all on. Now I'm going to go ahead and put some mascara on. This is the CoverGirl Bombshell Volume. It's got two steps. That's the brush of the first step. So we're going to apply that. Cool. I'm going to do the bottom lashes. This is how we really get to know. So this is the wand of the number two step. So I guess this is what adds the length, maybe? It looks like it works really well. It's pushed my lashes into my falsies beautifully. So I think it looks pretty good. So the lip liner I'm gonna use is by NYX and it's called um, Earth Tone. It's like a kind of browned color. I love these. They're really, really creamy and I feel like they um, glide really well. I bought a whole bunch of Mellow Cosmetics and I think they're beautiful products. They are actually amazing. The brand is from New Zealand and the packaging is just stunning um, and the lipsticks look amazing and they've got Mellow printed on them. They're just beautiful. Today I'm going to be using a Posh but you guys are going to notice a few of these on my channel probably over some time just because I bought quite a lot and I think they're beautiful. This one is a nude but it's stunning. Um, so I'm gonna apply this lipstick, it's so nice. Um, it's a bit more nude than my lip liner, so it will soften it. And I'm just gonna apply it more in the center of the lips, because I want that big lip today. Come back in with this lip liner and just make it darker all around the edges. I quite like this combination, it's really pretty, right? So that's my lips done. Now I'm just gonna put some highlighter on. Hi! So I've got two products that I wanna try today. Both are from Wet n Wild. Ba -ba. This one is from the Queen of Hearts range and this is just the original. So I'm gonna try the Queen of Hearts one first because I feel like it's more pinky and I've got more pink on my eyes and more mauvey tones. So that's what I'm gonna use and then I might do a little bit of the other one on top just cause why not. I'm gonna use my Morphe M510 brush and I'm just gonna take that all over and make my cheeks pop. Oh yeah, do you see? It's so weird, I have this one area on my face that doesn't like to grab pigment right there. Like I have to go, I have to either do that or I have to take a product and actually touch it on my skin. It's so bizarre. But anyway, look at that highlight. It is so pretty. Then I'm gonna do above my brow. This one's called The Sweetest Bling. That is such a cute name. And then this one here is called Precious Petals, which I think is just so stunning. So I'm gonna put a little bit of that on top. Oh yeah. I do like that glow. And I'm gonna use this on my nose instead. 
This is the um, contour palette I used before by Rimmel, but I want to try out the blusher because it looks really pretty and why not? So I'm just going to put that on the apples. Just Yeah, it's super pretty. I like that too. Yeah, so this is amazing. I would say the highlight is not the best, but um, I might just do a little bit of this highlight. Where can I do it? I'm going to do it on my chin because why not? Oh, you know what? The highlight's good too, it's just really powdery. Okay, I don't want to show too much texture, so I'm just gonna kind of rub that off. So this is the final look. I love it so much. I feel like every product I used, I loved. I love the eyebrow product. I think that Mellow um, brow product was amazing. The lipstick, gorgeous. Obviously these lashes are to die for you guys. They are amazing. And this eyeshadow, I mean, I love ColourPop and I love Chi Chi eyeshadows, so I knew that they were gonna be amazing. But this highlighter, this highlighter, you guys, it's so pretty. Um, so yeah, I like everything. The, the primer was amazing. That foundation, I know it's one of my all-time old favorites that I used to use every day. I did used to use that foundation like every day and I still think it looks amazing. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. In the comment section below, let me know what your favorite drugstore slash affordable makeup is. I would love to get my hands on it if I don't already because I want some more. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you have a good day or night and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys!